All right, hello. I'm going to try to do a little mini reading. Um, the light feels super harsh, even though it's like overcast today. So I hope everyone is doing well. Mmm, lion, otter, starfish, and porcupine. Porcupine is one of the pool cards in that deck. For me, it says, time for a beginner's mind. And I feel a lot of like, it's been very foggy and cloudy here. It feels very spooky. Queen of Cups, Five of Cups. We see Divine Feminine, we are in your generous spirit, Star and Queen of Cups. Star hasn't come out upright very often for a little while. Um, look, the Fool and Nine of Swords. Leaving things behind is what I get here. Leaving pain behind. Some of you may need to do a little bit of somatic work in your body, Ten of Wands and Justice, to move on from things that have felt like betrayals. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. They're drawing my attention to, actually during a private reading, uh, the hologram card fell on the floor and then I had left it there for a couple days. And they're drawing my attention to the starfish body and just how it has all of these little like sensory feet going out from it. For whatever reason, that card is my Divine Feminine card in this deck, the animal deck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The star and the page of pentacles. Someone wants to bring you a message of hope. A message of abundance and joy and possibly celebration. I'm feeling like a hand on my left shoulder. So for those of you who have like a fem female ancestor close to you. Thank you, Spirit. Um, that has passed on. <sighs> okay. Big message, is not expecting this. Um, they want to let you know that you're being watched over. Now I feel like I wanna cry. Um, and if there was ever like any kind of altercation or you just didn't see eye to eye, um, she wants you to know that there's forgiveness from the spirit realm and that if you would like to forgive her, she's asking for forgiveness. I hope that finds who it needs to find. Um, Cause it's a really beautiful feeling message. So we have Master Alchemist, the Violet Flame activation. And you see at the top here with the eyes and the wings, I feel this is her angelic presence and you may be saying well she didn't feel like an angel when she was alive oh my god this is crazy unification aligning with abundance nine nine didn't i just say that and then ten ten reunion reconciling differences so there's an opening for you to reconcile differences heal abandonment wounds and for look at it, it says time to forgive on the bottom Crazy. That's crazy. I was dealing these out and they're like, why are you skipping these? <laughs> Go do these first. And I'm like, okay. It's a beautiful death card. I haven't seen this deck, uh, this card in this deck yet. I love this deck. I don't even think it has a name. It is like so amazing. Um, what is it that you want me to see? Again, the celebration, and it came right on top of the nine unification, right? That's the card I was looking at in the shuffle that said someone's bringing you a message of abundance, nine of wands. So we have nine, 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 nine. 
if you want to put that in the box that's always helpful if you want to send prayers or ask for prayers and i'd like to call them you know energy or something i have nothing against the word prayer or prayers but there's just so much attached to it for so many people okay four of wands three of swords and i really really truly believe with all of my heart that we're more all of us everyone it's more different i mean it's more alike than we are different and though that isn't to disrespect anyone's anything culture gender identity non-identity anything nothing it's just like i believe that I truly believe in like the light and the shadow and everyone that we're all these. So now we have our fifth nine. So we have, yes, nine, 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 nine. And if I actually count them all, yeah, that's all. So one, two, three, four, five, six nines. Crazy. So I got my license plate for my new car, and I don't know that many of you know this, but like I have kind of channeled this 369 like manifestation understanding. I did a video about it once, and I just didn't want to do more on it then, but I got my license plate yesterday because I got my car shipped to me from out of state and it had all threes sixes and nines on it it's crazy okay so let's see what do i want my other deck is downstairs so let's do these so we have ace of pentacles reverse death six of pentacles seven of pentacles nine of cups On the interior, a nine of wands, two of cups, two of swords. So we have, that's so interesting, four of wands and three of swords. Kind of have a nice mixture here of all of the elements. And like right when I sat down and was like getting ready to do this, they were like, Embracing the chaos, embracing the chaos, embrace the chaos. That's what they kept saying to me. And I got the feeling right then that it would be like all four suits and that there was like kind of some magician energy. We have engagement rings and wedding rings in reverse and the snake. Oof, choo choo. Lightning, which is tower, and axe, which is ending, breakup, and separation. One or both of you may be going through a separation. And I do see here again this reiterated message of um, a desire for stability. I see and feel a strong desire for stability. That can only come when you, you know, Bob Proctor would always say to me that security is an illusion and the only security you really have is in yourself. And that's a hard little lesson to grasp, right? And he was never like insinuating, well, you shouldn't have any savings or you shouldn't try to create a stable home or the, any of that stuff. But that it was really, I think about, because he would always say like sayings and then you would literally have to like grow into them for like two years. Um, I think it was more about learning emotional regulation now looking back on it all which i haven't done in a while but like it's not that everyone's gonna say everything destabilizing to you all the time but 
it's that like your peace and harmony and stability can't be dependent on well that's interesting <laughs> it says color me healed on the card that i just pulled out it's like the index card for these cards um it's like your double death wow that card hasn't come out in a long time that's my favorite card um your stability and your and i think your masculine is getting this because it's coming the lessons of it like they're showing me like digging in the dirt and like pulling up weeds and then planting new seeds and these new seeds are like these seven of pentacles it's like yes they're money seeds but they're also like renewal transition transformation fulfillment of a promise a welcome change it's almost like i'm gonna use the word rebellion but it may not be that strong for your masculine like your masculine maybe had to go through a period of his life where he didn't do what was expected of him and possibly that appeared as rebellion um You know, it's a lot easier. It's very interesting. Like if you face a period where you have to be like alone, alone, you have to be alone, alone. That is spirit giving you this opportunity to know who you are and what you want and to make decisions like fully on your own. And it's a really tough sometimes right um for people to understand that that can be a great blessing i just looked at the camera and it was 12 12. um because the other day i was like talking on for 20 minutes and it wasn't recording and i was like better check um so we see all this kind of like spirit cloud with the eye and then money right and this feels like an upgrade because then we have spirit and money and they're both pentacles cards right but one one is spiritual and one is financial physical it is interesting because death is the 13 right so we have the three the six and the nine and then we have one one here if I'm reading it like that, it's one one three six six nine. And to become a master alchemist, which is what divine feminine is becoming, you know, I say don't get too tripped up in all the spiritual stuff because you know your spirit has chosen to incarnate in these two polarized beings to experience the consequences of being physical which is a rare gift and I know it doesn't feel rare when you're here with seven billion other people but my understanding is you know it's difficult to get here and it's especially difficult to have incarnated many 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 times so don't get caught up in that either right always we're trying to remain in the present we are in the present and we want to have our attention on the present to be the master alchemist is to strangely enough see the good in everything not in a positive toxic way but in a way that's allowing you to foster trust with the universe the more you trust the universe the more you trust your own ability to make a decision on your own when you can and like get the help you need when you need that, the more you become sovereign and that means that you don't look to the illusion to tell you how to feel, who to be, what to do, how to act, decisions to make, you know, you don't align with the illusion, you align 
with your spirit and you bring your spirit into the physical form, right? It's getting real spiritual here. Your masculine seems to be looking at you for help with this. And you're like, maybe you're saying, I don't know how to do this. I don't know. I'm not even doing it well. But you are. So these four color cards here are really, really quite beautiful. In a lot of ways, it's telling me that your inner child is allowing itself. Look, see, we have peace and protection. You're entering into this kind of protected phase of allowing your inner child to tap into, I also, I want to say like Lemurian energy, but it's also its own beauty, right? Your own beauty. The beauty that's held within the most vulnerable parts of us is paradoxically the strongest. And it's crazy in this world where it's really not, look at creation and realization. It's really not valued or celebrated. And that word celebration has been coming up a lot for me in the last couple of days. Um, is that you... Even if you act very, very tough, and like, even if your masculine acts very tough, very aloof, very much like he doesn't care, we all do care. We all do care inside. There's a part of us. Now, some people have kind of lost the ability to access it. I will give it that much. But that's not your problem. And the way that you raise the frequency of the planet is by bringing that part of you to the light. We have beginnings, support all card, acceptance. Look at the little butterflies or birds or whatever it is. Abundance, pleasure, fruition, beauty, creation, protection again and then blossoming self-love and power which is exactly what I'm talking about here and faith which I would say is well, a lot like trust you've got to really accept this vulnerable part of you, which is encompassing, you know, your, your inner child, your feelings, imagination, and look at that. I just picked these up. And um, your subconscious. So we have the yellow, which is the solar plexus chakra, and then silver, which is celebration on it. Um, so the main message I'm getting here is that as crazy as it sounds, when I say this, you'll know if it's for you because it will feel like truth if it's for you and it will feel very light. Like the stability you're seeking is in your vulnerability and your ability to both say, look, that's crazy. I am a person with shadow and I am a person of light, right? I am a light being that has parts of me I've forgotten my light in that area and I am recovering it. Butterfly, 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 you know, and birds. So there's strong, strong messages coming to you in that from the angelic realm. And I, you know, you know me, I don't get really caught up in that unless they're telling me and possibly like the Pleiadian realm. Strong support. Strong, and 
I see 37, 37 here. So that, the three and the seven for me, especially when they're together, is the strongest of the spiritual numbers um, for alignment. And it says lion, right? Be generous of spirit. And then it says fruition. And it's almost like telling me the more you give of yourself, not masked giving. Masked giving is when we give. You probably had a parent who did this. And then they're like, you don't appreciate my giving. You don't know. You, I give you so much and you just don't even thank me. Something like that. That's not giving. That's transactional. And that's the way that all basically relationships are at the moment. Giving generosity of spirit is you being fully you and gifting it to the world. And it's like, as far as I can understand in my studies so far, it's the highest frequency you can embody. And like, I'm getting strangely sh shivers in the backs of my calves, which is you know what we stand on and I feel such a presence of angelic support on especially on the maternal line uh, it's just very strong right now and very much if you're wanting to like the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe if you want to open your heart what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? That's that feeling that you're getting. How are you being called to step up and lead? The initiation, rite of passage. You're going somewhere sacred. And again, a portal. Leap. So the third full card here. You go first and the universe will catch you. You know, I really... I'm a very practical person and I really want to emphasize doing having a plan that's practical but also creative. I don't ever think spirit would want you to put yourself in any kind of danger. Our second death card, I believe. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. And that's another message I'm kind of getting is you can breathe in the words you want to embody. It's the first thing I do when I wake up is I imagine the words and I breathe them in and I see them going all to my cells and I thank all of my cells and I tell all of my cells that they are doing a fantastic, amazing job and for them to tell me exactly what they need and I send light. Trust your path. If you need to be supported, what would you do? another portal and then i'm rama where are you being called to journey to some of you may and then get grounded in soul family so there's a lot of mirroring here but i don't really think and then we got the pleiades card on the bottom with starseed and mini Tonkin. longing for home belonging and the original light workers you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north so I just want to read you all these cards in succession. Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Exactly what I said. What lights you up? What I said, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. Thank you, Spirit. And so let's get a little advice. I'm trying to keep this short. I hope, but I, I want to keep going on the one thread that uh, I kind of veered off of is that for some reason, you're appearing like a teacher. Oh God, one fell on the floor. It very rarely happens. One step at a time. It's Stonehenge, I feel like some of you want to travel. Happy surprise. And one of you, some of you may get um, like a surprise trip offered to you. That's kind of like a wish or a dream or a manifestation. If that happens, because I, I don't really get things like that very often, but this very strong feeling. Um, we come back and share it here with me. Um, 
when you share, everyone feels happy. This is one of my favorite cards. Look, look how beautiful it is. And they do want me to mention, like, the joy that you get in adorning yourself, adorning your home, adorning anything. Yes, practicality is wonderful. But the joy that you get in the beauty that you create is not trivial. That's what they want to say to me. Uh, I'm going to cry. Okay, healer. You have the power to help and heal others. And some of you may be people who decorate homes or create beautiful items. Are you, and this is healing, you know, this is a healing thing. I don't think you need me to tell you that, but it's really coming through very strongly. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. It's okay to be different. So that was that main message. And then we have water here. Main message coming through about you being you and the adornment and you gifting yourself to the universe it's like it's so it has been so difficult in our world for a lot of people including me to be different and feel loved and accepted and that's just been a journey in and of itself and so you know, many of you may be on different parts of your journey. Um, they just do want to say, like, there's a lot of beauty in... Look at these cards. And then we have the shadow on the back. Sh doing shadow work around not feeling accepted, especially from your mother, may be a big part here. That was... Of the shadow work I've done, that was the most impactful one work I've done so far. I was not really feeling accepted by my mother. And I think I have more to go on that because it's such a deep wound, right? It's such a deep wound that we carry in society. Mo motherhood has so many wounds attached to it and so much, so much attached to it that we can heal and you know I think specifically Morganite is an, an excellent energy and stone to do this with that heart chakra color but we have relaxation with calcite kyanite blue with letting go aquamarine communication which is really calling to me right now for some reason and then soul site with peace and Morganite with relationship healing black obsidian with the shadow you may feel like a little bit the word they're using is targeted right now um, not in a scary way, but you just may feel like singled out about something regarding like who you are. And it's like they want you to really go outside, set your boundaries, and create sacred space for yourself. Thank you, Spirit. This is beautiful. The old must be released so the new can enter. So our third death card here with the eclipse and the lotus. And then the bold card, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. And I personally think that that has to do with uh, travel. That's what it's feeling like to me. Cordelia, go outside. You've been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Ishtar boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. And some of you may want to like actually plant or get some new plants or visit a garden or volunteer in your community garden or whatever it is there may be like something with the fall that you want to have that connection before it gets too cold um go outside and get some fresh air love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy and they're saying like put yourself first here take some time from your very busy schedule which we all have to you know, this card here, Yamaya, is like a serious Lemurian, Atlantean energy. Like, probably the of all of my cards, I think there's one that actually says Lemuria on it and one that says Atlantis. But of all of them, I feel like this is such an important Lemurian energy. Um, you know, the goddess of the ocean. So I'll get to it in a second, but it's really calling me to that some of you may be crossing oceans, some of you may be going on a boat, some of you may be wanting to really get in touch with the water 
of the ocean or salt water. It may be tears, but it may be that you need to go somewhere to that body of water that's calling you and do what you need to do there. Either release, commune, something is important. Um, sacred space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. I do feel some of you are being like, I don't, some of you may have that gift that I have, which is like psychic cartography or whatever. Sometimes I'm called to like psychically visit lines of a place to put energy there. It's very interesting. Um, That might help with your chakra alignment as they're showing me the chakras here. They're showing me that a lot of you are almost finished with your chakra journeys. Coming up into the third eye and the crown. That is, you know, then you have that self union. So it says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Did I not say that? This is what I'm talking about, though. See all the water running down here? Is that you need to little be a little bit more receptive, possibly, and also giving at the same time. Have faith that your prayers are answered and have been healed and are being answered. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple. Oh, we're gonna need dragons. I'm not really in the mood for dragons, but I'll get one or two. Of course, lilac fire dragon transmutes to the power of divine love. Open up transcendent love, enlightenment, purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Silver lunar dragon bathes you in divine feminine light. Come into balance and pr practice peace, harmony, and cooperation. Expand your causal chakra. And, of course, the most powerful of all dragons, the source dragon, attunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence. Magic can happen. Be in the moment. And look at You can't make that stuff up. <laughs> Those of you who have aquamarines, you may want to wear them now. I feel like they're being activated and that you may receive communication from Atlantis Lemuria, just to get real weird with it. Enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. And by weird, I mean good. Um, spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. For anyone who maybe wants to get themselves like a um, piece of jewelry or a crystal. I know I have eras of crystals. Like I've had to move through. Um, and I am not wearing any currently except for diamond. But I do have a special aquamarine. Okay. A couple messages here. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. We have the yin yang, of course, balance. Love is not always about agreeing for just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And I feel like this is tied to the mother here. I don't know why exactly, but I do see that many parents, in their desire to protect their children from the world, they try to kind of mold by criticism, right? And I feel like some of your mothers did that. And not to gaslight you, not to side with her, because I went through this myself, for sure. You can, if you look, you can see the love in that. That doesn't mean it's right, and that doesn't mean your feelings aren't valid, and it doesn't mean that you need to do this. But I'm saying, you know, the way to heal it is to see that everyone was doing the best that they could at the time, even if they did something really horrible. I know, like I started this reading off saying we're all more alike than we are different. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Time. You are trying too hard, give it time. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So we have transformation, new beginnings, embrace, trust, and sacred union. And emotions are a natural and necessary part of your life. So we've had many death cards in this reading. Um, 
and then this card that's next has this big snake on it, right? That you're going through this transformation of letting go of part of your identity that you don't need anymore that literally just blocks you from receiving the love that you want. And all of the love that we ever get is really truly just self-love. It's just other people affirming to us that we are lovable and worthy of love and we are so thank you so much for being here and listening to me and i hope this has helped you in some way bye for now